American Broadcasting Company presents Inner Sanctum Mysteries. is your host to welcome you into the inner sanctum. Come on in and look over our sanctum. Mm -hmm. Interesting design, isn't it? The black and white motif was created by those famous southern decorators, Autopsy and Eva. <laughs> you see, here we're not a bit concerned with the housing shortage. We have an expansion basement downstairs. When we need an extra room, we just dig one. <laughs> we take pride here that everything is absolutely sanitary. Nothing is touched by human hands. And believe me, no other morgue can make that statement. <laughs> well, folks, ready for tonight's cataleptic continuity? Hmm. Okay, then, grab onto a coffin handle, and let's go. Well, look what we have here in a garage. My favorite model car. Mm. But the driver, Johnny Bryce, doesn't feel that way about it. Ask Johnny, and he'll tell you. Ask me how I took a job like this, huh? Ask me and I'll tell you. I needed a job. It's not the kind of job you, you get used to. All the time you got that, that box riding in back of you. All the time there's death over your shoulder. Ah, well. Ago. Yeah. Just three hours ago. I just put the wagon away for the night. Hello, Johnny. Huh? I've been waiting for you to get back. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Vera Craig. A thousand dollars for you, Johnny. All you have to do for it is to use this hearse. What? My husband, Alec, is dead. I want you to take his body away. The parlor handles the orders. Oh, this has to be handled differently. My husband has been murdered. Well, then you call the cops. Oh, I can't. I murdered Alec. What? Don't be so shocked. He was rotten. Mean. I'm not sorry. Look, I've got to get rid of the body. All you have to do is get it out of the apartment and bury it. There's an alleyway next to the apartment house. You can park the hearse there. What do you say, huh? No. No, I'm not touching anything dead. But you're used to death. It's around you all the time. I never get used to it. I hate that thing I drive around. A thousand dollars, Johnny. No. Think of what a thousand can do for you. You can quit this job. You can get away from that thing. No. This will be the last time you'll have to drive a hearse. All you have to do is get rid of Alec's body. Just get rid of my husband for me. I... No. Johnny... There's a thousand dollars and more. Okay. A 
you, uh... You looking for somebody, mister? Yeah, I'm looking for Alec Craig's apartment. Uh, he lives on the next floor. 2C. Oh, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, no use going up there, mister. Mr. Craig ain't home. It's all right. I'll... I'll talk to Mrs. Craig. M Mrs. <laughs> you can't do that, mister. He ain't married. There ain't no Mrs. Craig. There wasn't any Mrs. Craig. And who was Vera? What was it all about? I had to go upstairs and, and find out. Craig's. I want to see Craig. Uh, he, he's not home. Who are you? Uh, John Bryce. Okay, Bryce. Suppose we go in and wait for Craig. Uh, Craig won't be back tonight. How do you know? He, he told me. What about the call? Call? Somebody phoned. Told me to get over here quick. Said there was a murder. Murder? That's right. Said Alec Craig was here in his apartment, dead. But now suppose you get inside like I told you. You got this all wrong, Maxton. Somebody's kidding you. Yeah, somebody's pulling a gag on you. Craig isn't here. What's behind the door? I don't know. I guess you're right, Bryce. Somebody was pulling a gag on me. Sorry to bother you, Bryce. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. There's a back entrance to this room, Johnny. Listen, what's going on here? I saw a body in that chair. I saw it with my own eyes. Yes, Johnny. You saw Alec Craig's body. What? I put him in the closet to save you. What's going on here? You told me that Craig was your husband and the super said you weren't. He wasn't even married. The super told you the truth. Why did you lie to me? I had to make sure you'd help me. But you did kill him? Yes. He was blackmailing me. You've got to get him out of here quickly. Nothing doing. I'll I'm meet you out at Mount Crescent Cemetery. All you have to do is carry the body down the back stairs to the hearse. No. 
The deal's off. Oh, no, it isn't, Johnny. It isn't off at all. You're going to do exactly as agreed. Why, you've got to now. Now? What you do you mean? You spoke to the super, Johnny. He saw you here in the house. They'll find Craig's body if you don't take it out. Let them find it. I had nothing to do what with it. What about Maxton? What about that detective, Maxton? He knows you now. Detectives are good at remembering faces, Johnny. If they find Craig's body, they'll blame you for the murder. Who are you? I'm sorry, Johnny, but there's nothing you can do about it. Not a thing. for the night. I didn't know you drove a herd. Oh, sure. That's the way I make my living. I was waiting for you out front. You didn't come out that way. Oh, there are back stairs to the apartment. I, I had the wagon parked here in the alley. I... Why didn't you go in through the back? Mm-hmm. You went I... in the front way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how did you know? Maybe I was outside. When you got here. Oh. What do you got in the house? Oh, it's a box. What's in the box? Nothing. Sure? It's empty. Then maybe you wouldn't mind if I had a look. <laughs> What's the matter, Bryce? The box is empty. That's what you said. Yeah, well... Why bother to look in? I'm not gonna bother. Like you said, the box is empty. I'll see you around sometime, Bryce. I couldn't understand why Maxton let me off so easy. But I didn't have time to figure it out. I had a job to do at the cemetery. And I wouldn't wait much longer.
long. I met Max in him in the alley. I was afraid he might tail me, so I came the long way around. I... I... Why, what is it, Johnny? The way you look. There in the moonlight. What's the matter with the way I look? There's something about you that... Yes? I... I'm getting out of here. Not yet. You've got to bury Alec. You've got to if you're going to save your own skin. Well, I'm finished with the whole thing. I'm going back and talk to Maxon. Hey, Bryce. You can tell me now. Maxon. Both of you stand right where you are. Listen. So you thought you got rid of me, huh, Bryce? Maxon, I had nothing to do with it. I, I tell you honest, it was all her idea. You picked a Lolo this time, Vera. No, you I... found out about us. What are you going to do? A I... real Lolo. What are you two talking about? I... So this is the spot where you've been meeting him, huh? Meeting? I'll cut the act, Bryce. I but... warned my wife if I ever caught her, I'd kill her. wife? But Vera's is your wife? No use, Johnny. There's nothing we can do about it now. He knows everything about us. And you're getting it first, Bryce. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny! 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 I'm getting out of here before he comes to. No, Johnny, you can't go yet. He'll find you no matter where you hide. I know him, Johnny. He'll have you hanged for Craig's murder. I didn't kill Craig. You did. We'll both hang. You fix it that way. You won't have a chance. Listen, I... Johnny! Use it. Huh? You know what you've got to do now, Johnny. Go ahead. No. This is your only way out now, Johnny. No. You've got to kill him. I can't. Hurry, Johnny, before it's too late. What? You don't want to die, do you? No. All you have to do is pull the trigger. It's so simple. Just pull it. Like this. <laughs> See, Johnny, how, how simple it was? Now, Johnny, you can go back to the hearse and get Craig and... After you're through with the both of them, all our troubles will be over. mixture of red ink and grease. Huh? But it did get the effect that Vera and I wanted. <laughs> so you really thought I was dead. We had to make you believe that, otherwise you wouldn't be of any use to us. Why? Why did she me? Why me? We wanted her husband out of the way. We wanted him dead, but we didn't want to commit murder. We picked you for that, Bryce. Why? You... You can't get away with this. Why, you... No? Yeah. What are you going to do? Go to the police? Yes. Tell them your story? Go ahead and do that. Tell them how you held the murder gun. Tell them how your finger squeezed the trigger. She made me do it. She made... Think they'll believe that? No, Bryce. We worked up a perfect case against you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. So long, Bryce. Vera's waiting for me at the apartment. Coming, Alec. No. 
don't seem very glad to see me. Get out of here. Craig told me everything. How you framed me into murder. He said it was all your idea. It was. Cute idea. I told you to get out. You waiting for Craig, huh? That's none of your business. Craig won't be here. Why? Craig is dead. Dead? Uh-huh. I killed him. No. You're lying. You wouldn't do a thing like that. You're not a murderer. Oh, sure I am. You made me one. You remember this gun, don't you, Peter? All you do is pull the trigger. It's so simple. Remember? Johnny, huh? wait. That, that thousand dollars, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Mm. Thousand dollars. And more. <laughs> this is where I came in. You can have it now, Johnny. It's all here for you. Just waiting. You can do a lot with a thousand dollars. That's right, Johnny. That's right. You can get away from everything you hate. You, you won't have to drive that purse anymore, Johnny. You can get away from death. Johnny, you can go away. Operator, <laughs> get me the police. Johnny, why are you calling the police? Hello? This is Johnny Bryce. I'm at 40 Elm Street. Johnny. Apartment 2C. I want to report a murder. Johnny! Don't! Don't! Get Sanctum now. Well, just follow me. I'll show you out. Nice story, wasn't it? Plenty of corpses and no remorse. <laughs> well, I'm glad that Johnny finally got the drop on Vera. But you should see the drop the hangman got on Johnny. Oh, by the way, the hearse was furnished by the Wormley Motor Company. Yes, it has a special built-in paranoid drive. Yes, indeed. Wormley makes the only car you want to be seen dead in. <laughs> if you dare. <laughs> Good night. Pleasant. Thank mm -hmm. you.